So it has uh, all but been confirmed the Muslim Brotherhood's Freedom and Justice Party is the main victor of Egypt's first post-revolutionary parliamentary elections. I say that because there are still roughly 30 seats being contested or that will be contested in the runoff vote late next week. However, from the rest of the parliamentary seats, the results being announced by the Higher Electoral Commission uh, this evening, uh, it has been announced that the Muslim Brotherhood's Freedom and Justice Party uh, gained the largest portion of the parliamentary seats. The question now many people are asking is, what will this mean for the people of Egypt? Will it mean that the Islamist Muslim Brotherhood will try and rule alone, or will they seek an alliance with the, uh, the other Islamist parties, which also made significant gains like the Salafi movement? Or will they look elsewhere to try and bring a broader alliance to try and represent all the spectrums of Egyptian society? It seems that the latter is most likely. The next big step in terms of political developments here in Egypt, obviously, is the presidential elections and the writing of a new constitution. The parliamentary makeup, however, is a significant seismic step taken towards that long march towards democracy that the Egyptian people have been fighting for for over a year.